Hello boys and girls and thank you for coming today. So we have a lot to learn today and I'm going to start with looking at the letter T right here and I know that we usually use our um, Tiki Tiger but also the sound spelling cards a lot of the the work that we're doing on our um, in our wonders work has a the turtle for T. So we still do our T like this right? So this is our turtle turtle so T says t. so when I hear the sound t, that is the beginning sound so let's look right here so in this row we have some words that begin with the letter T so that would be the very first sound you would hear in the word so let's look at this picture let's say t, toothbrush t, t, turtle t. it is the same beginning sound isn't it so we're going to do toothbrush. Toothbrush starts with T, 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 t. Can you do that with me? Okay, get ready. Toothbrush starts with T, 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 t. And then we have a picture of a turkey. T, turtle, t, turkey. Do you hear the beginning sound? It's the same. So let's do turkey, ready? Turkey starts with T, so parents make sure that they are doing the chant with me it's very very important and then of course we have a tiger and we know that tiger starts with T let's do tiger tiger starts with T, 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 t. now not only do you need to learn which pictures start with the T we have to also listen for the T at the end of a word so let's look right here and this is a picture of a cat t. do you hear the T at the end Cat. So turtle has the beginning sound of T, but cat, I hear it at the end. So cat ends with a T. That's the last sound you hear in cat. Let's do the word nut. Say nut with me. Ready? Nut. I hope you did it with me because if you're not doing it with me, you won't learn to read. It's really important. So in the word nut, t, I hear the T at the end of nut. So one of our assessments later, I'm going to ask you what is the last sound in a word? And you have to be able to tell me. And then let's say the word net all together. Net. Do you hear that at the end of net? You do. So net ends in T. Now I need to find my puppet to help me with some of these words right here. We are starting to read and we put our sounds together to make a word. So we're gonna do this first word right here. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. So he's gonna make the sound of an A and the sound of a T. And we're gonna try to guess what the word is. Are you ready? At. 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 Is it at? That is the word at. And that has two sounds. Now this next word right here has three sounds. M-A-T, but we're not gonna say the letter names. We're gonna do the sounds, okay? So we're gonna do the sound of M first. So we can, and then hopefully you can do it before I tell you what the word is. Try to guess it. Mmm, at, mmm, at. Mm at mat is it mat so when you get to school we get to sit on a mat a mat is like a little rug that we put in you might have a mat um, outside your door in your house that's a mat and mat have, has three sounds mm at and that's another test you're gonna have to know I'm gonna say give me all the sounds in mat and you have to say mm at so parents listening you can practice that at home with them, right? Yes, okay, so now we have the, this word right here. We're gonna make the sound of P-A-T. Okay, you ready? Okay, he's really excited. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? P-A-T. Again, that's a hard one, isn't it? P-A-T. 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 Is it Pat? And Pat is, it could be a girl's name, but I can also pat your head, right? Pat. 
Do you like it when I pat your head? So it's an action word too, right? So we can do the action. Okay, so we still have three more words down here. So we're gonna do T-A-P. So he's gonna make the sounds, okay, ready? T-A-P, T-A-P, T-A-P. Is it tap? It is tap. So I can tap just like that. I can tap, I can tap with my pencil. I'm gonna tap your nose, tap, 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 right? Okay, we are starting to read. So your child should be able to sound these words out or say what the word is when I put the sounds together. So we have another one, S-A-T, ready? Okay, S-A-T, 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 it is sat, sat. So I sat on my chair. Okay, let's do this last one. T A M. Ready? Okay. T A M. T A M. Tam. It is Tam. So Tam is the name of a girl. Tam. And that's why there's a big capital T there. Okay, so now over here we have the word that we're lear learning. Our words to know are, are high frequency words and we have the word like. And so we're gonna do the sentence. We already know that word. We like, and we can look at the picture for clues. P oh, but that's pizza, it is pizza. Can you say that sentence with me now? We like pizza. Good job, and I know you can read the first three words here with me. Ready, read them with me. I like, that's the word like, the, and look at the picture for this word. It starts with the T and ends in a T. This is the word tent. Can you read that sentence now with me? I like the tent. Let's say the word tent, say it with me. Tent. I hear the letter T at the beginning and the end of tent. Let's say it again. Tent. Did you hear it? Good job. Oh, I have a book to read to you. This book is called Tortillas and Lullabies, and it is in both English and Spanish. And I'm gonna try to read the Spanish part, so bear with me. Tortillas y conciencintas. Oh, that's a hard one. That's lullabies in Spanish. And the author is Lynn Reiser, and the pictures are by Corazones Valentientes. So we have some very challenging words for Mrs. Bellis to read, but I'm gonna do my very best, tortillas. And the reason I'm doing a story about tortillas is because the word tortilla starts with T. Let's do tortillas. Tortilla starts with T, 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 T. So that says tortillas at the top and tortillas at the bottom. I love tortillas. Okay, so. I'm gonna read it and I'll show you the picture. My great-grandmother made tortillas for my grandmother. Now the Spanish part. Mi bisabuela hacía tortillas para mi abuela. And so we can look at this picture and we can see that this was long ago. The way that they used to make tortillas before is a lot different than they do now. So they had to be outside for most of their work and then it says, my grandmother made tortillas for my mother. And now the Spanish part, I'm reading the back side. Mi abuelo hacía tortillas para mi mamá. So let's look right here. So it's a little bit different, right? It's changing a little bit. And they make them, their stove looks different. Did you notice that? Okay. My mother made tortillas for me. And now the Spanish part. Mi mamá hacía Tortillas para mí. And so let's look at how it looks different with the tortillas and how they made them. And I made tortillas for my doll. Okay, the Spanish part. Y yo hacía tortillas para mí. And that's a hard one. The, the word doll in Spanish. Muñeca. Muñeca. I think that's it. But I'm not sure. I hope that's it. Okay, doing my best with Spanish. Okay, so I'm just gonna read, this is gonna be the last page. It says, every time was the same, but different. Spanish part now. Cada vez 
era la era lo mismo pero diferente and there's our tortillas that starts with T and then we're gonna do a picture of the great-grandmother the grandmother the mother and the daughter so it's like a generation of people and they they dress different don't they yeah so I'm gonna stop there